Okay then guys, today we've got quite a rare find here, and one that a lot of you guys may not have ever seen before. This is the Rippled Crescent Halberd, and this thing is pretty damn cool, especially if you guys are a Warlock mage in it out and wanting to run down as a offhand weapon. This works really well, or even if you want to go ahead and dual wield this thing, this is a very, very good find. Although the Ash of War is stagnant and you can't change it, this is a weapon that you definitely want to have in your arsenal, or if you're just a collector, you're going to want it. What's going on guys? Cloud Place here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're looking at the Ripple Crescent Halberd. If you haven't already, smash the like button and subscribe. Let's get into the stats. So we're looking at a 12 strength, 12 dexterity, and a heavy movement into arc with a 20 requirement. This is an S tier weapon in arc. So if you've got a giant arc build that you want to utilize this on your offhand, then you can do. Although the skill is stagnant to spinning slash, which is essentially a two part ash of war, which you spin around and then spin around again and slam the floor. But this weapon is quite interesting and you can farm it in quite an early stage location just here and we're going to head over to this area for the farm. So you want to spawn at the ash, the site of grace sorry, and run over to this direction right here. This is going to be around 5 to 10 seconds away depending on how quickly you get there. But once you get over here you are going to find two Albanorix and you want to take those out and both of these have a chance to drop this weapon. It is very interesting on how this one works. Although the percentage drop rate is tiny, it's anything from around 2 to 4% I believe this drop rate is. And it is a very cool weapon indeed. And this is a very repeatable weapon. There are things that you can utilize such as the silver mask. We all know what the silver mask does by now. If you guys have seen any of my farming guys, the silver tier mask is always one that I highly recommend. And utilizing the silver scarab is again another big movement for discovery. Utilizing another item called the silver pickled foul foot will give you a temporary boost to discovery and if you want to avoid that disappearing then don't fast travel. You just want to run all the way back to the site of grace and jump back in. This is going to be something that you guys are going to want to have as a lot of the halberds are highly underused at the moment, although quite enjoyable to play with, especially like I stated before as an offhand weapon. This thing is going to absolutely change your gameplay style and it gives you a good alteration, especially considering as we are probably due a big move in the balancing very soon, which means some of these weirder weapons may start to find their way. Now we are on the lookout for a lot more of these really low percentage weapons and I am really trying to find some of the rarer weapons in the game where the drop rate is so bloody small that this is going to take me a little bit more time to get these videos out. So if you have any weapons that you know know were quite a difficult farm then please let me know via the comment section and I will 100% be in touch and we can start figuring out some of the rarer weapons in the game as I see a lot of these videos which are kind of claiming that they're really difficult to get although definitely aren't a lot of these farming guides do seem to make it so that these weapons are really rare to obtain although a lot of you guys may have got these first time it doesn't mean that they are always easily obtainable now, that's what we've got time for today. This weapon, again, like I stated, is one that you definitely want to get your hands on. So go ahead and farm away and obtain it. The, the percentage is really low. So please, please, please don't raise me in the comment section if this takes you a good couple of hours. Just make sure you expect it. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I appreciate all of your faces. If you haven't already, slap that like button and subscribe with post notifications turned on. But as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.